One of the most important upgrades you can do to these lasers is add air assist to it. On the top here is the original assembly and all that you do is take it apart. It's mounted in through this area here. So take it apart. Be very careful of your mirrors and lens. The mirror's already been installed in this. Now the one problem I did have is my lens is 12 millimeters. The opening for the light object kit is actually 18 millimeters. Now to solve this, what I did instead of replacing the lens was I took a nylon washer and actually cut it to size so that it fits around the lens like that. Um, the one benefit to that is it's much easier to clean because I don't have to worry about my fingerprints. Now so once you have that in and when you install this you want to see your reflection in the lens. So once you see your reflection that's the right orientation so that's what goes up. So you put that down inside there like that and then I'll do the next part on the laser. Here you can see it installed on the laser. So all the important thing to remember is just keep your opening relatively squared with the other mirror. Uh, as far as the tube goes, um, the best way I found was just to have it kind of dangle in the front here, but you do have to be careful because if it does try to run over the hose, um, you'll end up kind of messing up your stopper motors, um, and it's best just to shut the unit off if that happens um, and get it out of the way. Uh, eventually, I'm going to take a uh, uh, one of the daisy length chains and uh, run it over. That way it uh, has the management uh, a little bit better. Now, as far as my here, I'm just using shop air. Uh, I have a 80 gallon compressor, so uh, I'm not too concerned about there being moisture in the air. Um, it's always been dry for me, and it's also filtered. However, I went ahead and added a ball valve here, just using a quarter inch National Pipe Thread uh, fittings on it. And that way, I can vary the amount of air coming out of the nozzle, depending on if, if I'm cutting or just engraving and I just have that with a, uh, a press on fitting there this is actually the same size diameter that the uh, the um, coolant hose was uh, and I had a little bit extra so I went ahead and used it for this but with this upgrade I'm able to cut through uh, so far 10 or 10 millimeter pine uh, whereas before I was having trouble going even a millimeter before the, the piece would catch on fire um, so for probably under uh, $25 you have a real nice upgrade uh, and the plus side is too um, I just checked the mirror before I put it in here and I hadn't cleaned it in about a week and it was still clean uh, whereas before I was only getting about a day out of it so definitely uh, something to do